It's time now for your science buzz stories that are creating a buzz in the world of science. And we're going to start this week with what we have been focused and consumed with with our hearts and minds over the last week, and that's Hurricane Ian. Now we've seen some images from the ground of the vast devastation in southwest Florida, but these images you're seeing now show the damage in a different light. These are different pictures which show what some places looked like before and now after the storm, many of which show things just completely wiped out. An RV park wiped away and boats from a marina tossed onto the shore like toys. You can see that Fort Myers Beach Pier was completely wiped out and it will have to be rebuilt. But it is this photo coming up next that's going to offer a little bit of glimmering hope. Mother Nature shows a sign that everything in the end will be okay. This is from South Carolina where Ian made landfall on Friday. A sheriff deputy captured this photo of a rainbow near Polly's Island after Ian had left the area. All right, turning our attention now to a little bit of tech. Check this out. The world's first all electric passenger plane took its first successful flight. Known as Alice, the zero emission aircraft traveled an altitude of 3500 feet for eight minutes on Tuesday. The plane has battery technology similar to that of an electric car or a cell phone, and within 30 minutes of charging, it can fly for an hour at 287 miles per hour. The company that makes the plane hopes to have it in the hands of consumers by 2027. I am all for electric planes as long as you can get past the clouds and up above the clouds, because once you're up there, you have plenty of sunshine. If it, they do have, I don't know if it's solar powers or just electric powered, but I love it.